Miss Gray Educates, brought to you by Gray Education. Tadpole to Frog by Camilla de la Bedwoyere. Okay, this book has a contents page, so I want you to have a think about what type of book this could be. Is it a fiction or is it a non-fiction book? What is a frog? A frog is an amphibian. It spends part of its life living in water and part of its life living on land. Amphibians lay their eggs in water. They live in wet places, often near ponds or lakes. Common frogs have smooth, damp skin and golden eyes. Some frogs live in wet rainforests. They are called tree frogs. Most tree frogs are much smaller than frogs that live on the ground. This tree frog's big red eyes and orange feet scare other animals away. The story of a frog. A young frog is called a tadpole. It looks quite different from a frog. This small animal begins its life as an egg. The amazing story of how it becomes an adult frog is called its life cycle. So here's the egg, and then here's the tadpole. Here's the frog. A frog goes through three stages in its life cycle. It spends all of the first two stages in water. Frog spawn. In spring, male and female frogs come together to mate. They always mate in water. A male grasps a female tightly. As the female lays her eggs, the male covers them with a liquid. The liquid fertilises the eggs. Only fertilised eggs grow into tadpoles. The eggs are as soft as jelly. They stick together in a big clump called frog spawn. The frog spawn swells and floats to the surface of the water. Inside the eggs. Once the eggs are laid, the adult frogs swim away. Inside each egg, a new tadpole is growing. The tadpole feeds on a small yolk inside the egg and grows bigger. Female f a female frog may lay hundreds of eggs at one time. Many of the eggs are eaten by fish and other pond animals, but some survive and their tadpoles keep growing. After a few weeks, the eggs hatch. They hatch sooner in warm weather than they do in cold weather. Tiny tadpoles. Tadpoles are tiny when they hatch, but they quickly grow. Each tub tadpole has a long tail which it uses to swim. It has feathery gills on either side of its head. These allow the young tadpole to breathe underwater. To begin with, tadpoles just eat small green water plants. Later, they will also eat pond animals such as water fleas. Tadpoles feed and grow. They grow faster when they lim live in warm water with plenty of food. The big change. When they are about seven weeks old, tadpoles begin to change into frogs. First, they grow back legs. A few weeks later, their gills disappear. Then they swim to the surface of the water to breathe air. The tadpole's back legs grow first. Then its front legs begin to grow. As its legs grow longer, the tail grows shorter. By the time it is 12 weeks old, the tiny frog is about three centimetres long. Their tails begin to shrink and their front legs begin to grow. The tadpoles now look like tiny frogs. Froglets. The little frogs keep growing and their tails disappear. They are now called froglets. The froglets stay in or near water. They feed on small insects which they catch with their long sticky tongues. Froglets can swim, crawl, hop and climb onto the floating leaves of lilies. When they are bigger, the froglets move away from their pond. They find a safe place under some plants where they can hide. This froglet is hiding in a pitcher plant 
in a wood. The life of a frog. Adult frogs spend most of their time on land. They hide from animals that hunt them for food. Frogs rest during the day. In the evening, they hunt for insects, slugs and worms. Frogs can make huge leaps to catch food with their long tongues. Many frogs have green, grey or brown skin. They blend in with their surroundings and so are hard to see. This is called camouflage. Camouflage helps a frog to hide from animals that want to eat it. Back to the pond. Frogs hibernate in winter. This is because there is little food to eat and the weather is cold. When animals hibernate, they fall into a deep sleep to save energy. Frogs hibernate under rocks, in burrows or ponds. In spring, frogs return to the pond where they were born. This is where the adult frogs mate. Soon the story of the life cycle will begin again. Male tree frogs croak loudly to call the female to mate. Frogs are ready to mate when they are two or three years old. You can pause the video here and have a look at the glossary. The glossary will help you to have a look at any words that you didn't understand and it will explain the meaning to you. Thank you for listening. Miss Grey Educates, brought to you by Grey Education.